on the same note, what do you think about cybersecurity in academia? I know that it hasn't been paid much attention up until recently, but uh, as I've uh, looked into things, I, I've kind of noticed that there are more and more cybersecurity degrees that are out there compared to, let's say, maybe five or six years ago when uh, the field was practically much lower in terms of cybersecurity in academia than it is right now. Mm-hmm. So... so- I think the problem with cybersecurity in academia is that you, as an academic, you're really limited to what your salary is, right? There's no way you can get the really high cybersecurity salaries in academia. Uh, the job is hard. It requires stuff like teaching. It requires a ton of this investment. So a lot of people don't stay in academia because why would you? You have to do more work for less pay. So you have uh, to a, lot people, <laughs> a lot of people end up in industry instead. Um, and that's really common. Like you'll see so many people end up in industry from uh, cybersecurity degrees. And then on top of that, you also have these universities that have this push at the moment to getting cybersecurity degrees without actually having the talent to teach them. So I'm quite cynical in the sense that I don't really think that quite a lot of universities can offer a really good cybersecurity education. There's a few, especially in the UK, that are you know top top universities for cybersecurity that have a ton of academics. Um, but there are others that just like, look, we have a cybersecurity degree. Please give us nine grand a year because we need more money <laughs> and you're easy to fool. And then if they do get academics, they lose them to other because they're so small that really cybersecurity academics can go wherever they like. So I'm quite cynical. I do think it's useful to go to university just in general because I think university is such a great experience to try a bunch of new things, to not be so focused on, you know, if you get a student loan, you kind of get get paid. It's not as much, and obviously you have to pay it back, but you have that sort of freedom to explore new things. Um, and actually at university, I met quite a lot of my friends who are interested in bug bounties because they had that free time to explore that interest in bug bounties. Fellas, YouTube enabled memberships for my channel, so you can now come into my closed circle and into the private live chats. Click the join button to learn more. There are a lot of people that condemn um, the formal path of getting into a certain field, not necessarily cybersecurity, but um, I know that uh, quite, a, quite a lot of people put down the uh, actually getting a degree in something than uh, compared to trying to teach yourself something and then get into that certain field through this route of teaching yourself. But in terms of um, uh, one of the big advantages that I see in actually doing a formal degree, such as a cybersecurity degree or whatever degree you're doing, if it is your liking and if you have the money or if the, if you have the sponsorship to actually do it, is that you get to interact with people that uh, think along the same lines. So uh, People think differently as well. Like Of course. Me, I mean, like, even before I started doing bug bounties, I knew they were a thing because I had friends who were interested in them. And at that time, I wasn't necessarily interested in either. I was just, you know, friends with people who are and getting that kind of community aspect. But then that has kind of led me into kind of the route I'm at in now, even if I didn't really mean to do it in the kind of I aspired to it. It was really useful to meet people, of you know, who are kind of the same as me, but also people who think very differently to me. And being able to have that community was really important to me. Although I will say that universities obviously have a lot of money and you need to take, you know, cost benefit analysis for you personally. You can definitely self-teach yourself something like bug bounties for sure. A lot of people self-teach. It is not, I'm not going to say it's not hard. I'm going to say it's not as difficult as some subjects are to self-teach. Fellas, check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description.